What's good YouTube? This is White Boy 503 coming at you with another Android tutorial. Sorry if you can uh, hear my fan in the background. It's it's pretty hot. It's it's starting to feel like summertime. But uh today's tutorial is going to be uh uh emulator SNES Droid. I'm using my tablet as you can see. So what you need to do is uh, go to this right here. It'll be on Media Fire. I'll provide a link in the description. You just click right here, download your file. Should say starting download right there. Should pop up right here soon. Yeah, there it goes. So you just wait. Yeah, I'm tired. It's almost midnight here. I'm tired, but I can't sleep. I've got like a sleeping problem or some crap like that. So, uh, yeah, SNES Droid. And that's the icon that you'll have when you, um, when it installs. So, what you want to do is you want to come down here and you'll click install at the very bottom. It should install. Sorry, my light in my room is not all that good so so what you want to do is it'll say it'll have open and done in the bottom click done and uh, I have the other I have the ROM bookmarked or whatever but we're gonna be using the uh, Super Mario Super Mario World 2, World 2 Yoshi's Island is an example. Um, I will provide a link to uh, e emuparadise.com and I, I don't know if you if you download um, if you download uh, games from there what you'll need to do is you'll need to uh, connect uh, via the USB cable and uh, do it from the computer but um but yeah you'll just have to do it from the computer because a lot of the uh, ROM sites um, will download uh, like zip folders and stuff like that and you, you can't really do much with the zip folder on your P on your uh, Android device so I mean yeah so just click download right here should say starting download should pull up shouldn't take all that long and you'll see how it says dot text right there so what it does is it'll save it as a doc text for for the Android devices. I don't know why, which is kind of a pain. It's clear. We'll go to home, and what you'll need to do is you'll need to go into your market. You'll need to go here, and all you're gonna want to do is type in down. Just type in download, just like that. And what you're gonna want to do is you want to you are gonna want to install. This program right here is called Download All Files. So you just click that. You just I already have it installed, of course. So it'll have something saying right right here. You just say install and then accept the terms or whatever. So once you're done with that, what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to go into your go in here. And I have my stuff categorized. You want to go into your downloads folder. And uh, actually, I'll go back and I'll show you the um what it looks like my camera will focus that's the uh, SNES droid icon looks pretty cool it's like an Android held in a SNES controller it's pretty nifty actually I mean compared to uh, I'll go back and I'll show you what the um, the uh, NESOID which is the NES uh, emulator which I have another I have a I have a video posted on my channel, and I'll put a link in the description to it, uh, to how to put uh, the S, put the NES on your Android powered device. So, like like I said, um, go near downloads. You need to click right here, and what you want to do is you want to click download all files, and then what you want to do is you just want to click right here, pull your keyboard up, make sure it's clicked. 
and you want to type in SMC and that's basically just like or SFC SMC whichever they'll both work um, and then what you want to do is you just want to click save save file it it'll save it I need to just close and then um actually sorry um what you want to do is you want to go want to go back into it click your downloads folder you want to click on it sorry about that but what you want to do is you want to come right here you want to click download and then you want to go to browse my bad I forgot about this and you want to find NES droid and then you want to my camera would focus you want to click the ROMs folder and click select this folder that way it'll save it in there because if you don't save it in there you can't run it so like before sorry about that you want to uh, name it SMC and then click save and it'll save so you close out of that and then you just come here click on the emulator it'll pop that up so say uh, basically showing you how to um, to uh, basically do it on a computer <laughs> I mean, I'll uh, type this out in the uh, description. That way, you guys will uh, know how to do it. But I mean, it it it's honestly, I think I I'm not a hundred percent sure, but I think Emu Paradise will or doesn't do um or doesn't like put it in a zip or a RAR folder. So you can probably just download it straight from there. I'm not a hundred percent sure. Um, if somebody could uh put a comment in the comment section telling me that they've tried it or whatever that'd be greatly appreciated that way I know for future videos and stuff like that so I uh, click already done and what you need to do is you need to click load ROM and then uh, click I've got I've got all this stuff in here already but just click that right there and it'll pull up and um, it may not pull up just like this at first just for the sheer fact you need to go in here and go into the settings and like mess with this stuff right here uh, where's it at oh um well, maybe it's in more nope menu no, uh, yeah, so you just go into your settings, and it'll, like, have you, um, how your, how your input, how your, uh, your touch stuff's all set up and everything like that, so it's all set up the way you want it to be, you just set it up the way you want it to be, whatever, however it feels, and they actually, I love the way they have this, um, set up, and it's really, I mean, at least on mine, it looks really good, so yeah um check out my other videos check out my PSP videos check out the other uh, Android uh, tutorial on um, putting the uh, the NES on there check out the challenges me and my friends do um, help me grow I mean that's that's probably my biggest thing for right now for the time being in my next couple of videos I'm gonna keep saying help me grow I'm not saying just like spam my channel to people but just just get get me out there like help me basically um, get more views get more thumbs up all that kind of stuff that way I don't know I guess it for me personally it kinda gives like knowing people are watching my stuff gives me more of like a a uh, like more, more more motivation to know to uh like do more videos for you guys and and girls of course I mean I think as of right now I don't think I have any uh female subscribers but I mean I ho I would hope to have some soon some soon but yeah definitely um rate comment and subscribe to my channel check out all the videos share it on like Facebook Twitter Oh, and uh, I will be putting my um, my Twitter down in, in the uh, down in the description. That way, if like say you happen to miss one of my videos, 
uh, you can always check Twitter and it'll it'll pull up it'll pull it right up because that's pretty much all I'll be using my Twitter for is I mean I guess communicating with a couple friends or whatever but mostly it'll be for my YouTube basically to uh, if you happen to miss a video you can always just check Twitter instead of having to try to search through my uh, search through your subscriptions if you have a lot of subscriptions like for me I've got like 40 subscriptions and it's a pain in the butt to have to go and search through all the stuff to try to find it because I mean especially with like Android stuff if you if you have a Twitter it'll tw it'll say hey this person just tweeted something or hey this person just put up a YouTube video and it, I mean it's just a lot easier to I guess um, keep track of what I'm posting keep up with my channel and stuff like that so yeah uh, like I said before rate comment and subscribe to my YouTube channel and uh, help me grow guys thanks peace